Hello YouTube and welcome back to Gibbs Gaming. This is Devin doing your Warframe videos. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to proceed with the walkthrough just yet. This is actually a requested video on Forma. This is going to be the what, when, where, why, and how. So we're going to start off with the what. So we're going to drop, jump into our inventory and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just to make it easier, I'm just going to type it in. Forma. Forma comes in the form of a blueprint. Operator, it does take a few things to view? craft it. I'm actually in the cur currently in the process of crafting one, so I can't read off the actual requirements. Let me look it up on my phone for you guys real quick. I apologize. I should have had this ready. Time limited mission alert available. Check navigation. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, this is not showing me what the crafting requirements actually are for the format. But essentially what the format is, is it is a expendable resource. You craft them for 2,500 credits and whatever the rest of the requirements are. And you can apply it to any Warframe, Weapon, Sentinel, Kubro, Kavat, any of those that you would like and it's going to reset any max rank so i couldn't actually use one on my death cube or my super vandal here i would i could use it on my death machine rifle or my Saren prime which is what i'm about to do for you guys but it takes any max ranked item like i said warframe weapon companion sentinel and it resets it back to unranked in the process, you're also going to take any one of these modded slots here. Which I'm going to remove a few of these because they're not actually going on my build. I don't want to get the wrong impression. I can take any of these and I can set it to any of the five primary, I'm sorry, six primary. So we've got our Zemuric here, we've got the Naramon, Dazrin, and Matarai. These are going to be your primary polarities. So all you do is you go into, I'll get to the how here in a minute, I apologize. So you use them to upgrade any max rank, you can reset one polarity slot in any of these mods to one of the polarities. and it resets that particular item or frame back to unranked. So you have to level it up again. The drawback is, well, your level 30 weapon, frame, whatever, is now unranked. And number two, you don't get affinity when you do this. So you will not be able to increase your mastery rank by ranking things that you've formed. However, it does allow you to put more high level mods 
into your Warframe or weapon without hitting that wall, without hitting the max quite so soon. So you can put more high level. As you can see, I've already formed my Saren twice. One of them was the Steel Charge here. I believe the other one was my Primed Flow here. So we've covered the what, we've covered the win, it has to be max rank, now we're going to do with the where to get them. Some alerts will drop them, I'm not sure exactly how frequently, but they do pop on alerts from time to time. Also we do have them as possible rewards from your fissure cracks, your relics. Some of them will drop in the, the brass location or the bronze. Others, that was another bronze. This one is in silver. Those are the two levels that they drop at. They never actually drop as gold rewards, which is good because that'd kind of be a waste of a gold reward. Um, they come at all levels of relics. You got the lift, you've got the mezzo. That one didn't have one. That one's got the bronze. That one's got a silver. We've got them at Neo. There's a bronze. Another bronze. There's a silver. We've even got them in the Axie level. There's a silver one, silver, 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 there's a bronze, okay. So we have them on all levels of the relics. We also have the option, I do not suggest this, this seems like such a waste, of platinum but if you're really that desperate for some forma you can buy a single forma for 20 platinum or you've got a bundle over here where you can get three for 35 a little bit better deal still as I said I do feel like with as abundant options as you have to acquire them that this would kind of be a waste of platinum to spend it on forma So now, with all these covered, we're going to go over to the how. So as I said, I'm going to be upgrading my Saren Prime here. So I'm gonna click on upgrade. Normally I would just use the buttons, but in order to show you what I'm talking about, give you a little bit better idea, I'm going to do it this way. So. This is what my Saren Prime looks like without any mods on it at all. And this is what she's wearing currently. So if you come down here to the Actions tab, which on PlayStation, which is the console I'm playing on, it's R3, you bring up this. I've already got my Oroken Reactor installed here. And I'm just going to click on Polarize. I can click on any of these slots, any of these 10 here, and I can polarize it to whatever one I want it to be. So in this particular instance, I'm gonna be using this Bazaar in here. And I'm going to, I can continually cycle through all of these mod slots to be anything I want it to be. 
you'll notice that this V symbol here is not showing up because it's already one. It, you're not going to polarize it to the same one. I actually want to switch it over to the Naramon here. So I'm going to come down here and hit the button that says apply. Are you sure? Yes. Resets everything back to where it was. Now because of my, my still charge here and because of my Oroken reactor here, I'm going, I'm actually able to put 28 slots in here with the re Oroken reactor. I'm going to come over here to my Aura slot and I'm going to put my steel charge back on. That puts me at 46 mod polarity capacity. So I want to start looking at what I want to apply. Now I know for sure tankiness, I want to make sure I put my Umbral mods back on. And that leaves me with five more polarity here. So I'm going to switch over to Naramon. And with this being a brand new or not brand new, I apologize, and unranked. I want to make sure that I put on my Ponder Blade. This is going to give me the ability to get the most out of my frame at the very beginning, and I can start filling in these slots as I need to. This V slot here, this is going to be my Hunter's Adrenaline right here. This other Naramon slot that I just modded, that's going to be my stretch here. And then this one right up here, I'm not 100% sure, I'm still kind of playing around with it. I'm kind of bouncing between overextended to give myself a little bit more range, but it does take away from my power strength, also redirection for a little bit a more A new alert has begun. It will be marked on navigation. That's about all I really see from this that I might look at putting in here. Again, I might decide that there's other mods that would be better suited, and I might polarize that slot here in a minute. This empty slot right here, this one's going to be my regenerative molt. That's going to go right here. And then my exilist slot right here. I am a little torn. I like the cunning drift for the extra range. But if I decide to go with overextended right here, my power drift will be going up there to counteract it. So it'll put me actually at, I believe, 103% of strength. So I won't lose any once I put, put my overextended and put my power drift mod on. And then... This was another thing that people were asking me about, and this is Operator, something that I believe well. I'll go ahead and cover real quick. As you can see, I've already got my Tranquil, tranquil Plead put in the uh, stance mod here. Since this is my Sky Ajati, I'm going to go ahead and throw my Sacrificial mods up here, just to give them since this is the only weapon that has those polarities in them, we are not given the opportunity to put those polarities on anything else. It's worth noting that every mod has an order, and it's going to start at the top left, work its way to the bottom right. So if you were to put these in numerical order, this would be 1, this would be 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, and eight. And they're going to register that way. So, if I put North Wind up here for ice, and I put Shocking Touch here for electric, that gives me magnetic damage. However, if I throw Molten Impact right here, it's gonna negate that blast damage, or it's going to negate the magnetic damage that we got from the ice and shock. 
and it's going to give me glass, which is the ice and fire, and then we're going to have electricity on the side, because four and five interact sooner than four and eight would. If I move this one back up to number three, we can see over here my blast damage goes down to zero, and I've got heat damage and magnetic again. So th this is something you want to keep in mind, not only whenever you're putting mods on your weapons, but it's also something you would want to keep in mind whenever you're getting ready to polarize your slot, adding a form to a weapon. You want to make sure that you put these on in the way that makes the most sense so that they interact the way you want them to. You can see over here I've got ice and fire, so I've got magnetic, and then I've got ice and fire down here again, which gives me even more blast damage, not magnetic, I apologize. I've got melee prowess here for the additional 15% status chance, that's going to crank it up to 63% status chance. My healing return is another way for self-preservation along with my regenerative malt. This helps at earlier levels and will allow me to get little tidbits of my health back here and there. Right now I've, I'm still working on maxing it out. I believe it'll be at 11 health return for each status effect, which has a chance of being any of these four. Plus, with my Saren, I'm able to do. I'm able to do uh, corrosive damage here with my spores. I'm able to do toxic damage here with my toxic flash, and I'm able to do viral with my asthma. So that adds three to the four my weapon has the ability of dropping. So that gives me seven. Seven times six is 42. So with each strike, I have a potential of returning up to 42 health for each strike with my sword. I come over here to my death machine rifle. It's actually not doing anything at the moment. That is surprising. I thought I had mods on this. I like putting radiation on it. You can also do auto, apply auto. And it's going to throw all of these up here that it thinks are the best for this particular weapon. You don't have to agree with it. You can swap these around. You can hit remove all and put build it any way you like. This is just what tends to be the easiest for me. This drops radiation and cold as potential status afflictions, which adds another two. So now I'm up to a potential of nine. I can do the same thing with my Super Vandal here. I don't think I have any equipped to it that are going to give it. I'm gonna drop fast hands. I really feel like this is gonna be my best bet with this one. So I wanna come back down here. I believe this is how it got emptied before as I they had mods on there that I wanted to apply to other weapons and I needed a mod of it. So I could apply them to this. These are actually taking 11 each, so I'm going to come over here. You'll notice I've got a 30% status chance on this super vital. That is extremely high and the critical damage is at 40%. So you could really take this either direction. I've got the serration for damage, point strike for crit chance. So if I drop this off, it drops down to 60%. Um, I'm gonna go over here. So I wanna put uh, magnetic on here. So I'm going to give high voltage for status chance and electricity now I also need to add cold to it I've got rhyme rounds here I need to actually upgrade that I thought I had one upgraded so I'm gonna put rhyme rounds up here and 
Now I've still got 14 that I could add to it. Which is going to be either Stormbringer or Cryo Rounds. Either one's going to wash into that magnetic damage. But I want to go ahead and put Stormbringer here because that puts these two right beside each other. So I don't have to worry about anything I put over in these two disrupting that magnetic damage. And I only have three slots left and once I get some platinum or a drop for a catalyst I will be putting a catalyst here and this is going to be my build for the time being. I'm actually I mean, this is going to be my build on my Super Vandal until I can either polarize it to give myself more options or get a catalyst to throw on it to boost my mod capacity. So yes, this has been my what, when, where, why, and how on Forma and a little bit of tips and tricks for modding your weapons. Once again, this is Devin with Gibbs Gaming. If you haven't already, please do like, subscribe, share, and we will be back with you as soon as possible with another video. Thanks. Have a good day.